what is going on YouTube and welcome back to my video today's update I'll be talking about two things one will be um, one more side effect that I find out you know while using minoxidil which is really bad and I don't like it and it's just gonna cause me to definitely stop using it and the second one is uh, the measures that I have taken you know while I stop them uh, you know when I stop minoxidil which actually kind of already happened so with no further ado, I'm gonna just get into it. So I'm a little low on energy, so and I'm gonna tell you guys why I'm low on energy. And um, you know, and that's the reason why I'm stopping minoxidil. So the first thing will be uh, I kind of have a little note here so I could you know keep on track, but I'm trying to steer right through it and trying to make this a short video. So the first thing is the side effect, right? So the first side effect that I find out, or the last one that I find out, is um, ED. So that is completely bad. I am not messing with that. So I find out that uh, minoxidil will give you ED, which is erectile dysfunction. So yes, you will not be able to get that little bad boy up. So I noticed that because last time I tried to have sex, I struggled get it up and uh, the girl was like you sure it's not minoxidil causing it and he rang a bell but I didn't know you know so um, I was thinking about when I stop I'd be able to compare to see if that's the case but it's most definitely is because uh, Swedish Daniel uh, commented on my video that somebody said he was getting it when he stopped minoxidil he was fine he was perfor performing perfectly and I was like, whoa, then that's got to be it. Because I've never had that in my life. So I definitely know, okay, minoxidil caused it. But I would be able to confirm that, you know, uh, in a few weeks. Because uh, that bring me to my next point of measure that I've taken to stop minoxidil. So uh, in other words, I, already, I stopped using minoxidil. Today is uh, Wednesday and I stopped minoxidil on Tuesday. So my last day of using minoxidil was on Monday. And that was because um, uh, I was doing some research, you know, what I would do when I stopped minoxidil, you know, ways that I could do in order to promote, you know, a healthy life and, you know, to grow back my hair. And, uh, you know, I found this video, uh, you know, talking about also clean C and everything. And I, I was like, uh, reading and researching and looking at all these different aspects of things that make me think hmm maybe that's why I'm having this problem or that's why people are having this problem which is the fact that you know a lot of people don't eat healthy a lot of people don't follow a certain regime so they have a lot of toxin in their body they have parasite they have all of this stuff in them you know causing problem you know and hair loss is one of them you can research that in the description below i'm gonna put two videos or two uh, two i'm gonna recommend two videos that i want you guys to watch it's really really insightful and informational like really but i didn't watch this video until after i had already started fasting because when i finished watching those videos um in some other videos and doing my research I decided to go into the same journey too where I was going to be doing a water fast because a lot of people were doing water fasting to cleanse their body so I decided to do that to clean my body of all the toxin that I have that way I could start doing you know these when I start minoxidil it's completely a fresh start and you know I could kind of see the result because I'm going full-blown serious into you know not using minoxidil and go natural so I decided I was gonna uh, detox my body, and uh, I found uh, I found out in my research that three days were the minimum, and that was what was required because that's how long it takes for your body to completely recycle and reset the whole immune system. And at the same time, that's when the body goes into ketosis. In other words, uh, the body start using fat in your body for calories and energy. 
So I was reading all of that, but it's like, yeah, yeah, you know, you watch videos, people with test testimonies, but it's more like, is it even true, even all of that and everything? But I decided to jump myself into it, and that's why I decided to stop Minoxidil a little earlier than I, than what I was gonna do because I was supposed to stop in two weeks, but uh, I started fasting on Sunday, and on Monday, that's when I decided that okay, if I'm going to be fasting to cleanse my body. If I put minoxida on it, that's more toxin and more chemical that I'm adding to myself. So maybe it's not a good idea. So I decided to stop minoxida right then on that Monday. So that Monday was my last day of using it. And, uh, you know, uh, that Sunday I did also a detox through the feet. So you could Google that or YouTube that you will see. Pretty much put warm water with salt and uh, uh, sea salt and... Um, Epsilon, Epsom salt, uh, maybe baking soda and all of that mixed together and you put your feet in there and you just relax and supposedly the feet have a lot of nerve ending so when you sit, uh, when you put your feet in there and you let it sit there for at least an hour uh, it will kind of like get all the toxin through your feet and everything so I did that to detox myself and also I did a salt water flush to flush my gut because I want to make sure that I'm completely 100% ready for what I'm getting ready to do. So I do a salt water flush the next day uh, to flush everything out. And um, on Tuesday, which was my third day when I was supposed to go into ketosis, actually I went into ketosis, right? And I didn't even know. And I don't even know what it's like, you know, when I'm going to find out. So I was going for three days at first because... Um, I wanted to reset my immune system okay so three days was enough for me to reset it and everything but after three days once you reset and you go into ketosis that's when the body start using you know fat for energy and calorie and that's when you stop being hungry because the body is you know stop telling you I'm hungry I'm hungry and instead it just goes straight for the fat convert it into calorie and energy and use it so you stop being hungry because it's not telling you anything no more. You just go ahead and do his thing. And that's when you could just keep going for like 10 days. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to just push it to the end of the week. Then if it's like that, because I'm not hungry. I ha right now, I haven't eaten four days. I started Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, today's Wednesday. So four days, I haven't had anything but water. And except uh, uh, upper side of vinegar. I have that, you know, with a little bit of water, apple cider vinegar to kind of cleanse my body, make sure that I have a pH level, you know, above seven. And also, you know, uh, maybe clean all this acne that I have and everything. But, you know, all these fasting that I'm doing supposed to help me, uh, you know, cleanse and everything. So hopefully uh, it's going to help me also with my hair because supposedly, you know, all the junk food we eat and everything, we get our pores and our, you know, uh, veins and stuff clogged up. So, you know, I went into this journey and I went into ketosis and I wasn't hungry anymore. And I said, okay, I'm gonna push it to the end of the week um, and then I'm gonna stop, you know, and then and keep going like that. But I decided to stop earlier. So today's gonna be my last day because uh, something happened and I decided that, okay, I, I can only push two more days and I'm not gonna fast two more days to stop it because I need about two days to transition into eating food because it's been a while since I, I've had food. So I'm stopping today because, so I'm not a big guy. I'm really small and everything. I don't have a lot of fat. So when my body went on ketosis on Tuesday, it's been eating a lot of fat and I work, you know, I do work because they recommend when you do this, you rest and everything, but I got to work. So I go to work and then during breaks, I don't eat. So they have ping pong and basketball there that I play. So, you know, I've been playing and everything. So I use a lot more energy. So my body's been burning the fat out of me and everything. And I, that's my theory. That's what I found out because today I work, everything was fine. And all of a sudden, boom. I started getting cold. I started getting cold. I started getting cold to a point where I was freezing. And it was great today outside. It was sunny and everything. Everything was good. I was there fine. And then one minute, I just started getting cold and then it started getting freezing. I couldn't take it. 
Uh, luckily, I always have a jacket uh, in my car because I'm in Chicago. I'm in the Chicago area, so I just moved down here too. So I know it's usually cold here, so I have a jacket in my car always, just in case. So I just went to my car, grabbed my jacket, and I had my to bargain. I don't know if I have it here, but all full blown like it was winter. Everybody was wondering what was going on, like what's going on, you know, like you acting like it's snowing outside. And that's only because I was cold. And what I'm thinking is I was in ketosis and all the fat or most of the fat has been burned. Now there's no more layer to kind of like shield me from the cold. So any breezes or anything that comes through, I feel it. And that's when I realized like, wow, this is real. This is true. Uh, uh, not even just that, because the second day of my fasting, I also experienced because I woke up at 3 a.m. in the morning and I felt my nose unclogging. I wasn't cold. I didn't have any cold. I, my nose was not stuffed, nothing. I was fine, but I feel my nose opening. In other words, it wasn't open. It was somewhat clogged and I'm just used to it being like that. Just like everybody is used to being the way they are, not knowing that they have a lot of problem, you know, that they don't know. And my nose was just getting clogged, which was too much for me because now my sense of smell, it's through the roof. Like I could smell things so easily and everything. And it's just so annoying because you just smell it. It's like, no, you know, because it was clogged and you could only smell a little bit. And I was just like, wow. And, uh, you know, on my way back, I went to Walmart to get some fruit and everything because what I'm going to do is tomorrow, uh, I will be doing a, a fruit, a juice fasting where I'll just be drinking water, of course, but with fruit for more energy and everything. And Friday, I'm going to start eating some probiotic, which is, you know, yogurt to make sure I get the good bacteria back in my gut to prepare for the food that I'll be eating after that. And, you know, that will be for the first part of Friday, you know, a lot of yogurt and stuff like that. And then second part, after I take the break and everything, I'll be eating, uh, you know, fruits that they have at work and some, you know, mild stuff. And then Saturday, that's when I start eating full blown chicken. You know, I can't wait to eat. But, you know, that's pretty much what I've been doing. And um, I could feel it today when I was coming back, you know, uh, I could feel that my body is getting to, you know, to the end. Like, it's getting to the end. Like, I gotta stop. Uh, I was feeling the back of my head unclogging too. Like, I could feel literally blood flowing, which I never felt before on both sides. Like, here and then here. I could feel it. And it felt almost like a massage. And it was kind of like nice, but scary at first because, like, I never felt this. What is this? It's not supposed to happen. But maybe it's supposed to because. Like I said, we clogged up and we don't even know. So I was like, oh my God, you know? And a lot of people say, you know, you need to make the blood flow to your head. That's why a lot of people lose hair because they don't have enough blood flowing and everything. So I was just relating that to that. And I was like, oh wow, this is amazing. So, um, you know, I've stopped using minoxidil since Monday. I have used uh, the mixture that I have, which is coconut oil with tea tree oil with Jamaican castor oil and with lavender essential oil for the flavor and everything for the smell I, I mean so so that's what I've been putting only and also I saw something about Vicks vapor rub that people use that so I'll be using that over the weekend just to kind of cleanse my uh, scalp to make sure that it's completely uh, uh, what do I want to say it's completely healthy and and free you know so what I would do, I would put uh, the vapor rub like on my scalp and everything, let it sit for an hour, maybe overnight, and then wash in the morning. But it's something you don't want to let it sit. You let it sit for a while and then you wash it out. So I'm gonna do that over the weekend. And then, you know, keep with, you know, oil and everything and keep myself really good. Because now I feel like my system is being, it's already flush. Everything's working fine at 100%. So everything is good. And then now I'm just gonna keep eating healthy so everything is good so with that and doing scalp massages and using oil and everything that will contribute me keeping my hair and also losing all these acne and you know being healthy and that's pretty much what i'm i'm going i'm gonna go do and uh um also uh, da uh swedish daniel uh told me you know on my last video he commented that why am i stopping minoxidil 
because you know it's a proven uh it's a proven uh treatment that it works which it does work you know so why would you stop because oil and natural things are not a proven you know are not proven i mean people say they have results and everything but it's not like a sure and proven thing you know some other people were telling me just just do like a daily routine like you were brushing your teeth every day and just use it but for me personally I'm done with it because the side effect of minoxidil is annoying. And the last thing I just found, like I told y'all, I don't like it at all. So I'm gonna definitely stop, which I was gonna stop anyway. So I'm saying the side effect is annoying is because your scalp will be so white because minoxidil will get like clogged on there and it flakes off, it flakes off like it was um, uh, dandruff. It just flicks up and you got to take it and if you don't take it you lose hair that's why on my last video i was i told you guys i was losing hair because i was slacking washing my hair so it had a lot of clogged up minoxidil on there so when i wash it all the hair was just falling and i was just like wow so you got to keep up doing that and it's just annoying like crazy and i don't <laughs> doing that every time just keep brushing it and everything and then applying some more it's just too much i cannot keep up Plus the last one, just added to that erectile dysfunction. No, I'm not, fu sorry for my language, but I'm not messing with that. No, 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 no. So pretty much um, that's what I wanted to update you guys. So I've been fasting to cleanse my body and then I go into this natural mode where, you know, I help my hair grow. Uh, and I help my body do its thing and that's pretty much the best thing I could do for my body to be able to handle itself that's it and so I'm gonna put the two videos down there I recommend you guys to watch it and you just compare that also with your life and see what you may have done that caused you to start losing your hair and everything maybe the response is in that and maybe if you start taking care of those things then um, you'll be able to reverse your receding hairline and your hair loss like seriously because i'm getting ready to go into a a, a certain diet you know i'm still i'm still eat my diet really good and everything but i'm gonna add a lot more greens to it too but most important thing what i want to do personally i'm gonna be fasting every month every month i would take a weekend and fast three day fast because that's how long it takes for my body to for anybody to kind of recycle the human system. So three days, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday. One month, I take three days and I do it. So whatever junk food I eat, whatever food I eat or whatever I do, I will recycle everything. And pretty much we are supposed to do that. It's like your house. You clean your house when it's dirty. You clean your clothes when it's dirty. You clean the dishes when it's dirty. You do cleaning when anything is dirty. So the same goes for your body. When your body is dirty, you clean it. Why just wash the outside and leave the inside? So that's what I'm thinking and that's what I'm gonna go to do. And that's pretty much what I wanted to update you guys. And uh, so far I've been keeping up with washing my hair so I haven't had any hair fall. So I can show you guys, you know, this is what my hair is looking like right now. You know, it's looking good. You know, I hope I'm able to sustain it and keep it and I don't get any more fall. You know but this is pretty much what i'm having pretty thick and it's really a lot i even actually need a haircut because i have a lot of hair growing but you know it's it's pretty good still thinning a little bit you can still see the lines but for the most part it's good you know i'm i'm, I'm fine with that you know if you style it right then it's not going to be visible i guess you know but it's gonna be really nice to where you feel comfortable, you know, or confident walking around people and everything. So uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to tell you guys. And uh, I wanted to shoot this video just one from start to finish because I'm low on energy. That's why I'm not like really happy or not happy, but like smiling and everything because I don't have a lot of energy and uh, I don't have time to edit and do all of that. So I'm gonna just shoot this whole one video and just post it. So, and I uh, see y'all next time when I eat and I start getting more strength and I'm gonna post another video actually documenting what is going on, you know, as I am, as I stop, you know, using minoxidil. So until next time, bye-bye.